What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be a very, very fun day. Whenever we have to build stuff ourselves, I enjoy it a lot. So what we're gonna be doing today, let me pop open the hood and show you what is going on. And the trunk, I guess, because we will be working in the trunk. Don't mind the dirty car, she's a disaster. We're gonna take our stock battery and be moving it in to here. I did see somebody that put an Optima sideways where the spare tire sits, so that is what we're gonna be doing. It's a sealed battery. I believe it's called the AGM battery. So I picked up a red top. We're gonna be laying it sideways, maybe build a little strap so it doesn't fly around. And then I picked up some wood to go over it and then some carpet to go over the wood. By the end of this video, we should have this trunk looking pretty nice. I did order up some OEM covers for that. So I just want this thing OEM looking, stock looking. It'll be super nice because we're still gonna have all of the trunk space because the battery is gonna be underneath everything. Here is all the stuff we picked up. I went to Depot and I got that wood right there. And then that carpet, this wood and that carpet is from my buddy Josh Bader's Evo 9. So I'm going to be using it to trace out my own stuff. And then I picked up an Optima red top. Shout out to Optima for having a good warranty. I know I kind of bashed on the batteries because I had two yellow tops go bad, but they have like a three year warranty. I brought in a yellow top and I ended up swapping it out for a red top because they're better at starting. Um, and they actually didn't have the yellow top in stock that I needed. So shout outs to Optima for having a good warranty. Picked up a new battery for free. The first things I want to tackle are getting the wood cut out and the carpet cut out. After we get that done, we can throw it in the trunk, make sure everything looks nice and dandy. Then we can move on to getting the battery situated inside the trunk. We got the wood piece cut out, that is all good to go. It doesn't look the best, it chipped a little bit right there, but it'll definitely work, it's gonna be covered anyway. I just want it for support so that carpet doesn't start sagging. Let's get the carpet cut out, set it up in there and see how it fits. Well, there she is guys. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter of a color, but it's not that big of a difference. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So we're done with the carpet, we're done with the wood. This carpet over here does have like this padding stuff glued onto the bottom of it. So I may add that to mine. Not exactly sure yet. I don't think I really need it. I think what I wanna do right now is build some sort of bracket for that battery. I guess just a little strap. I think I'm gonna go from the spare tire, come straight out, up, over, maybe bolt back down there or just strap it on right here whatever one is sturdy enough. I have a bunch of spared aluminum from when we built the under tray for the Evo 10. So I'll just be using aluminum to build everything that we need for this conversion. All right, we got that first strap built. That really holds it in place, but I wanna build something that goes around the edges this way so it doesn't slide back and forth when we're hauling ass. So let's build that quick little strap. I'm gonna have Austin weld them together and we'll have a finished battery tray for the trunk. Not the most pretty thing in the world, but it's definitely gonna do the trick. I don't want this battery sliding around at all. Thank you. 
just like that, we are all finished up. That is how it's gonna sit. I'm gonna have these two welded together right about here, and we will have a finished battery box. As you can see, it's pretty pretty solid on there. So let's make sure our board still fits, our carpet still fits, and we still have to build one more bracket for the Evo 10 little relay box thing. I already have a pretty good idea of where we want to mount that Evo 10 fusible link box. So let's pull out a stock battery, stock battery tray, and let me show you guys kind of what I'm thinking. Where the stock battery tray bolts on, I'm gonna build a little plate for that fusible link to sit on. It should look pretty nice. I feel like I've seen someone else build one. I'm gonna whip some up real quick myself and have Austin weld it up, powder coat it black, and it will be good to go. All right, so that bracket was super easy to build. We still need to clean it up and powder coat it black, but that's how it's gonna sit. And then our new intercooler piping is gonna run right by it. That all worked out pretty good. No welding there, literally just a plate that I bent up a little bit, drilled some holes in and bolted that fuse box right to the plate. So that should look pretty good in black. Let's run over and have Austin weld up this guy real quick. Dude, that looks like shit, dude. Dude, fuck you. You got a little butt pucker uh, at the end. I know, that's why I dipped it. What does that mean? Yeah. You dip the tip in the puddle shit? Yeah, well, you fucking fucked up, dude. Idiot. Let me teach you how to weld. This is what's fucked up. Right there? Yeah. Bad welding. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sexy bitch right there. All right, our battery box is all finished up. We're good to go there. Let's clean up this area a little bit. I'm gonna lay down some dynamat just so that battery's not resting right on some metal. May throw a little bit of dynamat on here too so it doesn't bang around and we can get the battery bolted down. We ended up spraying some bed liner, like spray on rubberized coating down in there just to make it look a little bit better. The battery actually used to be mounted in this trunk right when I got this car and it had fallen over and there was battery acid all over the trunk. So that's why you see areas like that that we still need to clean up in the future. But for now, that'll do the trick. Let's let that dry. In the meantime, while it's drying, what we're gonna do is run the power cord from the very front of the car all the way to the back. I ran to Napa and they had some two gauge. I was going for one gauge, they didn't have one gauge. Two gauge will do the trick, it's plenty thick. So let's get this ran from the front all the way to the back. We just got that battery cable all ran. That's all good to go. For some reason, this undercoating is not drying. It's supposed to dry within 10 minutes. It's been like an hour and it's still not dry. So I don't know if it's old can. What I'm gonna do though for now is just cut out a chunk of carpet, lay it down where the battery is gonna sit and then strap down the battery. I don't feel like waiting forever for this stuff to dry. So let's get that done. Let's get the battery strapped down. I'll be grounding the battery to where the spare tire bolted on. If we have problems, we can always change it in the future, but I don't see why that wouldn't work. Let's get the trunk set up all the finished up and then we can move on to the engine bay. As soon as we hook up this positive battery cable, we should have power. 
Dope. That must mean we got something wired, right? Let's get that battery cable on, get the trunk all set up, and we can go on a drive. All right, guys, trunk is all finished up. Pretty nice that you can't even see the battery at all. So I really, really like that. We do still have a few things to button up up here. I will powder coat that tomorrow. We have a huge package coming in from JD Customs tomorrow to kind of finish up the engine bay. And I'm sure we may have to powder coat a few other little things as well. So tomorrow we can get that plate powder coated. We still have to rewire all the stuff for the demonize and the headlights. But other than that, it came out really, really clean. I like how simple and easy that plate was to make. Let's clean up the shop a little bit and take this thing out and go on a drive. So I've been beating on this thing for a while. Nothing's really moving around at all. Carpet's good, the wood's good, and most importantly, the battery is not moving whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here, guys. I'll have this battery we use linked down below. Everything else was kind of custom built, like the brackets and all that, so I can't link anything there, but I'll link the battery and I'll link the battery cable. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. <laughs>